So here is our parts list for this project of putting a USB capability into a Honda CT90 or similar. Um, the wiring colors I'm talking about are correct for a Honda CT90 1970. So this I will put a link to in the description. It's from Amazon. It was $8 or something. It's a 5.1 to 40 volt input USB output little module. The wiring I have taken from an old CT harness just to keep things tidy. Um, this is just a box that I'm going to put everything in so that it's somewhat water sealed. Um, so you could, basically all you need to do with this, this is two, a positive and a negative connection. The negative needs to go to ground on the bike. The positive should go to anything that is hot when the ignition switch is turned on. And on my CT90, that's a red wire. Um, this is from an old harness. The red wire comes back. Actually, the red wire comes back from the from the ignition key and comes to something like, comes to one of these, um, and then is split off. So what you could do is just take one of these nasty block things and and use it to get get power out of a red wire anywhere you see a red wire. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to I've added that on the end of that so that I can further split the splitter that's already there so that I am not doing anything destructive to the wiring harness so bottom line that is gonna those two are gonna connect to that I'm going to find that in the bike take one of them out put that in it put the other one in there and wire that to that so I'll show you all that when I when I get it in the bike but that's the basic plan and just as a quick test, now that those are soldered on, I have a charged battery here. See a blue light go on there, and I see a charging come up, take it off again. That's just the phone, it's no longer charging, that should go away, yep, and connect again. Yeah, so that is that is working on that six volt battery, which is I don't know what the charge is on it, but um, and I can't be bothered checking. So let's put this in the bike. So I have confirmed using a multimeter that this red becomes hot when the ignition is turned on. So I'm going to remove that and use this little splitter to reconnect that, whatever it is. And I put this in a little, camera's okay, isn't it? Put this in a little battery box. It actually works quite well. I'm gonna tape it up. I'm not being crazy sophisticated about where I mount this. I'm going to probably have this just tucked in there or stick it to the inside of the side cover because um, I have a I have a little I have this <laughs> I have this which goes on the crossbar so I'm basically just gonna take the side cover off when I'm doing a ride off-road doing some trails um, run a cable from this to that which will be up on the right there so not very sophisticated for now anyway but this should be fairly, very straightforward. Let's do the ground first. Ground, so 10 millimeter socket of course. Actually, just so that I don't blow any fuses. Super awkward doing this with a camera and a light in the way. There's my ground. Yeah. 
there's my hop. Now, I don't know if this is going to work without the engine running because I just tested my battery and it was looking at like 4.8. We can try it though. Let's see if that blue light comes on. about that that's turn signals that don't exist on my bike yep there's the blue light so here it is all put back together um, with those wires tidied up that battery case just fits in there really nicely um, it's grounded to that I don't remember which video I I messed up a video I don't remember which one I'm throwing away so just to repeat a little bit um, the ground is to there the red is spliced into the red that is already there using that little jumper that I created. Um, and yes, it will mean that I have to pull the side cover off to attach a USB device, but that is what I'm expecting to have to do. This is a once in a while thing when I'm going on a ride and I'm putting on my little phone. my little phone thing with the window and I'm just going to run a short little USB cable between those two and I think that's going to be really awesome. Hope you enjoy that. Bye.